We continue our discussion on property. This time, we cover Articles 419 to 426 of the New Civil Code. Chapter 3, Property in Relation to the Person to Whom it Belongs Article 419, Property is either a public dominion or a private ownership. This article expressly provides that properties are owned either in a public capacity or dominio publico or in a private capacity or propriedad privado. Regarding the state, it may own properties both in its public capacity or properties of public dominion and in its private capacity or patrimonial property. Article 420 The following things are property of public dominion. 1. Those intended for public use, such as roads, canals, rivers, torrents, ports and bridges constructed by the state, banks, shores, roadsteads, and others of similar character, and 2. Those which belong to the state without being for public use and are intended for some public service or for the development of the national wealth. Article 420 enumerates the properties of public dominion. But what is public dominion? Public dominion means ownership by the state in that the state has control and administration. In other sense, public dominion means ownership by the public in general in that not even the state or subdivisions thereof may make them the object of commerce as long as they remain properties for public use. Such is the case, for example, of a river or a town plaza. There are three kinds of property of public dominion. One, for public use, like canals, roads, which may be used by anybody. Two, for public service, like national government buildings, army rifles, army vessels, which may be used only by duly authorized persons. And three, for the development of national wealth, like our natural resources. Characteristics of properties of public dominion. One, they are outside the commerce of man and cannot be leased, donated, sold, or be the object of any contract. Two, they cannot be acquired by prescription. No matter how long the possession of the properties has been, there can be no prescription against the state regarding property of the public domain. Three, they cannot be registered under the land registration law and be the subject of a torrent's title. If erroneously included in a torrent's title, the land involved remains property of the public domain. 4. They, as well as their use of right, cannot be levied upon by execution, nor can they be attached. 5. In general, they can be used by everybody. And 6. They may either be real or personal property because the law does not make a distinction on this matter. Article 421 All other property of the state, which is not of the character stated in the preceding article, is patrimonial property. What is patrimonial property? Patrimonial property of the state is the property it owns but which is not devoted to public use, public service, or the development of the national wealth. It is wealth owned by the state in its private as distinguished from its public capacity. Based on decided cases, the following are examples of patrimonial property. 1. Friar Lands 2. The San Lazaro Estate 3. Properties obtained by the government in its chief proceedings and 4. Municipal Owned Waterworks System Patrimonial properties may be acquired by private individuals or corporations through prescription. Article 422 Property of public dominion, when no longer intended for public use or for public service, shall form part of the patrimonial property of the state. Article 423 the property of provinces, cities, and municipalities is divided into property for public use and patrimonial property. Properties of political subdivisions are either property for public use 
or patrimonial property. Properties of political subdivisions for public use cannot be alienated as such and may not be acquired by prescription, while properties of a political subdivision which are patrimonial in character may be alienated and may be acquired by others through prescription. Article 424. Property for public use in the provinces, cities, and municipalities consists of the provincial roads, city streets, municipal streets, the squares, fountains, public waters, promenades, and public works for public service paid for by said provinces, cities, or municipalities. All other property possessed by any of them is patrimonial and shall be governed by this code without prejudice to the provisions of special laws. Article 424 enumerates the various kinds of properties of political subdivisions and classifies them into property for public use and patrimonial property. Based on a decided case, properties for public use may not be leased to private individuals. If possession has already been given, the lessee must return the possession to the municipality, which in turn must reimburse him for whatever advanced rentals had been given. Article 425 Property of private ownership besides the patrimonial property of the state, provinces, cities, and municipalities, consists of all property belonging to private persons either individually or collectively. Other private properties are those that belong to private persons individually or collectively. Collectively refers to ownership by private individuals as co-owners or by corporations, partnerships, or other judicial persons such as foundations who are allowed by the civil code to possess and acquire properties. Based on decided cases, possession by private persons since time immemorial carries the presumption that the land had never been part of the public domain or that it had been private property even before the Spanish conquest. Roads may be either public or private property, hence if a person constructs on his own land a road, it is a private property. And if private lands of a person should lie within a military zone, said lands do not necessarily become property of the public dominion. Improvements constructed during the Japanese occupation by the Japanese army on private lands do not belong to the private owner of the land but to the Philippine government which emerged as victor in the last world war. If there is any error in the Torrance title of a person in the sense that it includes lands belonging to the government, it is only the government which can properly question that fact and a judicial pronouncement is necessary in order to have that portion excluded from the Torrance title. A certificate is not conclusive evidence of title if it is shown that the same land had already been registered and an earlier certificate for the same is in existence. As to acquisition by aliens, decided cases state that an alien has no right to acquire since the date of effectivity of the Philippine Constitution any public or private agricultural, commercial, or residential lands except by hereditary succession. The constitutional prohibition against the acquisition of land by aliens, save Americans by virtue of the Parity Amendment, is absolute. Provisions common to the three preceding chapters. Article 426. Whenever by provision of the law or an individual declaration, the expression immovable things or property or movable things or property is used, it shall be deemed to include respectively the things enumerated in Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Whenever the word muebles or furniture is used alone, it shall not be deemed to include money, credits, commercial securities, stocks and bonds, jewelry, scientific or artistic collections, books, medals, arms, clothing, horses or carriages and their accessories, grains, liquids, 
and merchandise or other things which do not have as their principal object the furnishing or ornamenting of a building except where from the context of the law or the individual declaration the contrary clearly appears this is the end of part two thank you